Hi Taurus, this is your weekly tarot reading. We'll have uh, five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love this week. We have uh, the Hermit clarified by the Moon. Uh, we have uh, the Eight of Swords. Then we have the Page of Cups clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. There is Leo Sagittarius. We also have Virgo and uh, Pisces on the table. Um, in the potential outcome we have this King of Wands right there in the middle sitting right next to the Queen of Pentacles. I think it's a safe assumption to conclude you're the Queen of Pentacles and you're dealing with this King of Wands. So the King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, perhaps this person is like a leader. Um, they could be somebody who is easy to get up and go, you know, somebody fiery, passionate and uh, things like that. What I can tell you right away is that perhaps you've already met this person or um, if the two of you get acquainted at some point during this week, you're not going to be hearing from them right away. If you already met them, that's why you're not hearing from them because they're going through some kind of a major, major uh, soul searching and they're not telling you, they're not telling anybody, right? We start with the Hermit, clarified by the Moon. And we also have the Eight of Swords right next to it. Those three cards are talking about what's happening or what will be happening to this King of Wands, right? It's like they're going to go within. Like they are going to go within or have already gone within. They're doing a lot of soul searching. They're going through some kind of a major, major thought process. Perhaps this person thought that they will never, ever, ever commit to anybody. <laughs> but as I always say, never say never. Or... Um, perhaps they didn't plan on falling for anybody really hard, really hard, right? Because I do see them falling for you really hard. It's like this person could be thinking to themselves, what is going on with me? I've never felt this way before, right? Uh, the moon clarifying the, her the hermit could be a Virgo, by the way. The, uh, the moon could be a Pisces. But, um, right, the moon is one of the most e emotional cards in a tarot deck. And together with the Hermit, they're going through some kind of a very emotional uh, process inside their own head. All right. And the Moon is also a card of fear. Perhaps this person um, are usually very confident, but now their confidence flew out the window. Because when people fall in love, you know, we, we're, not, we're, we're not ourselves. You know, the Eight of Swords, the next card over, is a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts. So again, uh, something about you, Taurus, made this person go nuts, go within, um, fall in love for you really hard, and um, perhaps they, they've got all kinds of emotions racing through their heads. Right, and it's going and it's driving them crazy. <laughs> okay. So here they come with a page of cups clarified by the ace of cups. They're gonna be making their move. They're gonna ask you out with the page of cups. However, the page of cups is clarified by the ace of cups, right? So that's what's actually going on. The ace of cups, by the way, is one of the two aces on the table. The ace of cups is all about genuine, authentic love. Like I said, this person is madly in love with you, but now they're just trying to, you know, keep it cool, you know, approach you with the regular, hey, let's go out with that page of cups. Hey, here's the bouquet of flowers. In reality, this person is just holding back. They're like, they they wanna they want to unleash their feelings and tell you how they feel. Uh, d during that first date. They, they really want to. I don't know if they will. They may, but perhaps they'll just keep it cool for the first date, but expect them to tell you how they feel real, real soon with that Ace of Cups, right? Yeah, so in the potential outcome, we have you with that King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles uh, is a golden opportunity card. This card comes in and changes people's lives, right? There is a pathway in the right bottom corner of the Ace of Pentacles. This is that pathway. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. If it's not a proposal, which I doubt this week, then that's what they want. They, they just... They are so focused on you. You live inside their head rent-free, <laughs> as, as a popular expression goes. 
All right. So yeah, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to get serious, ready to start a family. And the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is exactly what I was just talking about. It is a card of a rock solid commitment, marriage. It's a card of um, like uh, financial abundance. It's a card of real estate. It's a rock solid commitment, a marriage card. So yes. Uh, Taurus expect this king and wants to make a move this week and uh, what they really want is to marry you that's that's all they want that's all they think about all right so yeah <laughs> really happy for you Taurus congratulations Taurus if you are already married or if you're in a relationship this prayer is for you we have uh, the seven of uh, cups the eight of swords the six of pentacles and uh, the two of ones on the bottom of the deck um, you have a choice to make there is no other way for me to interpret this, right? There is no major arcana cards on the table, but we do have three cards that could be interpreted as a choice card. It's the Seven of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and uh, the Two of Wands are all choice, uh, options cards, right? The Ace of Swords, the second card that came out, yeah, you have to choose. <laughs> Taurus, it's time. It is time. Perhaps you've been putting it off, putting it off, but this week you have to make a decision. Um, yeah, the Ace of Swords is a card of somebody who says yes, somebody who chooses one of the options. Uh, this is a card of clarity. This is a card of a new beginning. Okay, um, I don't know what it's what it is about. I don't see it as being very critical or bad or negative, but perhaps. Um, you, it's time for you to choose, basically. All right. It does feel like it's, you. You will be having to make a decision this week. All right. And it could be between you purchasing one house or another house, one apartment or another apartment, one car or another car, or you could be choosing between vacation destinations, between. Uh, if you're remodeling your kitchen between backsplashes for your kitchen, <laughs> whatever it is, you will have a choice to make. Yeah, but uh, with the Ace of Swords, you will know. You will know. You, you will gain clarity at some point. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, we have a whole bunch of planets in retrograde this week including Venus and Mercury. This is when more X's than usual tend to resurface. So we got the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, clarified by Strength, we have the Star, and uh, we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, you know, we're wrapping up Leo's birthday season this week. We literally have two days left. Perhaps you ran into this person at a Leo's birthday the weekend before this week. <laughs> or perhaps a week ago, right? Because it does feel like um, some kind of a celebration, some kind of a party event gathering, and it could, there could have been, a Leo could have been involved there. If there is no Leo uh, in the picture, it could be an Aquarius. Right or some other zodiac sign, but there is or was or will be some kind of an event for sure. Right, both the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups could be interpreted as cards of an event. You know, party gathering, some sort of a concert, a game show, or Leo's birthday. <laughs> right, so the Three of Cups could have also been uh, some kind of a reunion. Right, but uh, that still involves some kind of a celebration. So yes, yeah, strength clarifying the Nine of Cups could be a Leo. Your dealing with strength could be a card of pure raw passion. All right, strength is also a card of uh, courage having courage to uh, get the show back on the road, I guess. Um, the star right next to the deck could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. The star is also a card of a wish come true. And uh, it is a card of healing. Yep, it is a card of healing. All right, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck is love. <laughs> Genuine, authentic love. You know what? This feels kind of new, new wish. Uh, Taurus, to be honest. It doesn't mean it's not your ex, but uh, if it is your ex, then it'll just feel upgraded, I guess, refreshed, renewed. It'll feel new to you. Perhaps you wouldn't even recognize this person anymore. Or it, the person you could be getting together, it doesn't have to be your ex, it could just be somebody from the past. All right, so yeah, um, I think the two of you will uh, give it a shot. I think, I think you will. <laughs> All right? Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Taurus, this week. We have Judgment, we have Death, uh, clarified by the Page of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, and we also have the Eight 
of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, pretty much any zodiac sign, as long as this is somebody from your past. So all those retrogrades are also affecting other areas of our lives, not just love. Alright, so yeah, we got Judgment, the first card that came out. Usually this card is a card of somebody coming back from the past, or somebody having to make a Judgment call. Alright, uh, Death, the next card over could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but Death, um, you know, it could be, something could have changed, right? So perhaps you left one workplace because of whatever reasons, and uh, perhaps a lot has changed since you left, perhaps management changed, and somebody from that workplace will reach out to you and they will ask you if you want to come back, and they will tell you, you know what, those people no longer work here, or a lot has changed since, uh, since you left, so it's going to be different this time around, right? Uh, that uh, is clarified by the page of ones. The page of ones is a message. Uh, it could be an email, text message, DM, a, an actual letter for some of you, all right? Um, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck uh, is a card of work, business, and finances, all right? Uh, and uh, the Two of Cups right next to the deck, I think you will at least think about it, all right? The Two of Cups when it comes to work, business, and finances, this is my hand shake card. So I think this communication will result in some kind of agreement or handshake or something like that. Like that. Perhaps somebody will reach out to you from the past and they will tell you, you know what, we owe you money. We just recalculated everything uh, and we owe you money. Perhaps if you had, if you were pressured to leave, right, they may like give you something because they will realize they made a mistake and uh, that will still result in some kind of a handshake or an agreement or uh, paperwork with signatures. All right. Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Taurus. We have Justice, we have the Queen of Cups, the 801s, and the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have a Libra on the table. What you're not expecting is communication from this Queen of Cups, or them literally showing up. All right, so the Queen of Cups could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And you already know this person, right? Justice to the left from the Queen of Cups. I think they want to... I, I feel like the two of you had some kind of a fallout or perhaps they flaked out on something or they miss you or they regret what happened between the two of you. This person is definitely from your past, all right? So yes, we do have all those retrogrades going on and perhaps that's what's triggering them, right? So the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of regret, grief, thinking about the past, justice, the first card that came out. It could be them wanting to make things right with you. Justice could be a major, major apology. Justice could, if they owe you money, they will pay you back or start paying you back or they will apologize to you. You know, uh, they want to reconnect with you. All right, the eight of ones right next to the deck is a card of communication, back and forth communication, or a card of trouble, or both. Perhaps they want to talk to you first and then uh, they want to see you. They want to meet with you and talk to you or something like that. Okay, I don't know who this is to you, <laughs> Taurus. It could be your ex or it could be a friend, uh, somebody you used to work with. Um, you know, anybody, a family member, whoever it is, I believe they're sorry. Okay, so yep, that's what I have for you, Taurus, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week.